Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to try to do sort of a, a quick update for you on products that I've been using, loving, some empties, things that I've rebought, and just uh, sort of a quick kind of like summary as to what I think of them. First of all, I, uh, I'm jumping on after a full day of work. It is late in the day. Thank goodness for lights because I would never be able to film. And my hair is in its natural state, <laughs> kind of a mess. But my makeup, everything I have on, with the exception of my lipstick, has pretty well been on me all day. I have not really done anything. On my skin, I have my Estee Lauder. This is in the shade Pebble. I have the Viseart blush on that I got from Marlene Fab and Glam. I don't have it in here to show you. And a little bit of the highlighter, I put that on this morning. Uh, the only thing that I have different on here is the bronzer. I was using a different bronzer to see how I would like the shade. I'm trying to get into a habit of like either trying to contour or bronze my face a little bit because I have absolutely no color. I have not suntanned, I've not done anything, you know, so I'm like pale as anything. So I got this bronzer. I don't know if I got this in a boxy charm. I have no idea. It's from Pretty Vulga. I don't know where I got it. This is called Bronze Mannequin, and I really thought way too dark, and then I put it on, and it really, you can hardly even tell that I have it on. So I've been trying to get better with trying to do a bronzer or a contour on my face because I took a Sephora class on contouring like last year sometime or the beginning of the year. I think I have to go back to it. I have to do it all over again because everything they taught me in that class went right out the window. But so anyways, I have, since I got that little palette as a gift from Arlene Fab and Glam when we were on our girls weekend, I've been trying to really bronze my face, trying to use it. So then I ran across this and I said, oh, I forgot about this. So I started to use this one as well. And they're very, very close. I don't know. I mean, I think I like the Viseart one better. I don't know what the price difference is. I'd have to really look it up, but I've been using this. I like it. I'm trying to get into that habit of bronzing my face to see if it make me look better. After using this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer for quite a while now, I use it pretty well almost every morning. I've tried a number of different bron uh, bronzers. Oh my God, a number of different primers on my my skin for for quite a while and I'll tell you this can match up with any of the high-end primers I've tried I really really do like this I put it on especially on my nose because that's my real trouble area and it isn't so much that I, and I do have big pores but it, it isn't even so much of that is I want the concealer and the makeup to cover my veins as much as possible because my I have big veins around my nose so this has been a this has been really really awesome i have not out of it by any stretch but i've got a good dent going in here i will definitely buy this again i really like this a lot and you can't beat the price at all i have tried i wanted to i really looked for this because everyone said the wet and wild jelly primer was just as good i bought the jelly primer i've used it a couple of times you know what I'm just not into it I'm not into the slickness of it 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 dry it does dry down but it takes a while to really dry down and it it's okay but if I could choose one or the other I would definitely choose the elf I'm in love with my urban decay pencils and I had bought these in a sort of a mini haul and these are just the glide on eye pencils I think they're both waterproof long lasting one is smoke and one is demolition i think both of these are really nice shades the smoke is more of a darker gray and the demolition is more of a brown so i finally i mean if you saw the my pencils that i've had they've been like really short little stubby things i finally tossed them i couldn't even hold them anymore i was trying to get the last you know the last tiny inkling out so i replaced it i've got these i really like these this I wanted to share with you guys. This is a 
Irresistible Me Pony. And I think I've shown you when I received this, but I want to just show you a little bit more. It's sort of like the, um, it's, I mean, the quality of this is really, really awesome. This is a human hair ponytail. I put this around my head. I'm going to insert some photos here and some video clips that Jay took of me out in the yard. Now, right now, I don't know if you can see much of a difference. I think the blend on this is amazing. You know, it, it's amazing. So I've actually worn this and take my own hair back. I put my own hair in a ponytail, put this around. I've also put it on my head and wrapped it like that, sort of like one of those kind of buns, you know, floppy ones. But more often than not, when I've worn this, just like you're seeing in the photos here, out in the yard, walking around, down by the beach when we were camping. And this is just a, to me, it's a really nice hair accessory. If you're into ball caps and you want to have the hair popping out of the back of your ball cap, this is just really awesome. It's a great price point. This again was sent to me, complimentary from Irresistible Me, and this is in the shade Ash Blonde. Look at how, look what a great match that is. I mean, that is a fantastic match. I haven't really done anything to it, but because this is human hair, you can give it a little curl if you want. You can, you can do anything you want, but this is just a pretty, pretty accessory. Definitely made one of my favorites of the month. I love it. Thank you so much, Irresistible Me. And I think I have a coupon code. I'll link that below so that you guys can check it out if you are into hair accessories. And I know not everyone is, but I really think it's really, really awesome. The other thing I wanted to mention is my Built Bars. Oh my gosh. So I think Built Bars initially sent me complimentary some bars. And I tried them. And I know I've talked about them in my previous videos. I tried them, but I didn't have like high hopes. I want another energy bar, you know, and eh, it's going to taste like eh. But I'll tell you, Jay and I argue over these bars. Who's going to get the last one? Anyways, long story short, I have probably bought about four mixed boxes of these. And then I bought one box where I could pick the three that I liked. I love these bars. And this one is a brand new coconut almond flavors. Now, this has a little bit higher calories. It's 130, 18 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, 3 sugar, and 5 grams of fat. These are delicious. These are absolutely delicious. I love them. Love them. Oh, and you can smell the coconut. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. They are really, they are so good. They're so chewy and they're actually filling. So this new flavor, the almond coconut is really good. However, my chocolate coconut is still my favorite. My chocolate banana, my chocolate coconut. I like the mint cream. They have so many awesome flavors. They have made my monthly favorites. If you haven't tried them, try them. If you're if you are looking for a really, truly good tasting energy bar that's filling and that isn't 300 calories, yeah, you're not going to be sorry. I'll link all the information below. The other thing that continues to be a favorite of mine is my eyelash primer. So I just got myself another volume booster. This is the lash primer from Essence. You literally cannot go wrong with the price point of Essence products. There's the other thing that I ran out of that I bought again, and I always end up buying this, and I only use this as sort of a cleanser. It's a non-oily cleanser. I use the Equate. The price point is great. Oh, that rhymes. But I use the non-oily mascara eye makeup remover on nights that I want to use my Blink Lash Serum because you don't want to have anything oily around your lashes where you're going to put your blink. So I always do the non-oily. So I ran out of that, I bought it. I just love, love that stuff. The other thing I ran out of and bought again is the Sweet Spot. And this is Vanilla Blossom Sweet Spot. This is just a cleanser for the intimate areas of your body. I like it, it feels really good. I think it, for me, it's well worth the money. I will buy it again. I think I have two on backup. I also use their wipes a lot. I like those a lot. 
I always get questions on the CBD that I'm using. I get a lot of questions on CBD. I recently fell down, hurt my knee really bad and I ended up putting this Realm CBD CBG roll-on and I think I've talked about this when I first got it. This roll-on, I ended up putting this roll-on on and it has a it has a nice sort of like menthol-y smell. Jay uses it. He he uses it on his lower back. It almost gives you an instant relief of pain. I'm going to actually insert a clip here of Jay talking about his feelings on this product. Hey, I'm Jay McGillicuddy, Monica's husband. I've been using the Realm Recovery Stick. It's got CBD and CBG in it. And I'll be honest with you, I was kind of skeptical when I first tried this and been using it for quite a while, almost out of it. So Realm, if you're listening, <laughs> almost out of it. Hey, it to me, it works. Play a lot of golf and I have a lower back issue with my L5. So every once in a while, my back hurts. And what I'll do is I'll just take this and just rub it on the lower part of my back on the outside and it takes away some of the pain plus right here below my knee the patella ligament uh, that gets sore from working up so what I've done is been able to the realm recovery stick on it and it's really worked so so anyways just let me say this was sent to me by the company I have a coupon code I believe down below I'm not too sure I'll check I'll make sure if I do I, ha I insert it if you're looking for a temporary pain relief this really does the trick. I put it on my knee. I couldn't believe how quick my knee felt good. And like Jay was saying, he uses it. He likes it. This is definitely in my favorites. This is definitely, even though this was sent to me complimentary, this is definitely something I am going to repurchase. I like it a lot. The other thing that I talk about is the Maku, the CBD oil. Now, we have a couple of different products when it comes to CBD. The Maku, M-A-K-U, comes in different strengths. I think the highest strength is uh, 5,000 milligrams, and the weakest one is 1,000 milligrams. I put this on my skin, put it on my face. I use it the exact same way that I was using the Age Adapting Facial Serum from this is the one from Florid Bath. Now, the other day I had someone say to me, can you tell me the differences? I, you know, I really can't tell you the differences because I'm not, not a chemist. I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional. I will tell you that for me, one has a whole lot more of the product I'm looking to get than the other. The Florin Bass, I think has about 300 grams, milligrams of CBD in the entire bottle. So if you use a half a dropper, you're not getting a lot, basically. This has 2,500 in the entire bottle. So if I use a tiny bit of a dropper and I can mix it with another oil if I want or I put it on cream and I put it on my areas in my face that I really want to, it has a little bit of a smell, a woodsy smell. The 5,000 milligram bottle had a heavier woodsy smell. This has more of a woodsy smell than the Florin Bass did. However, I really like this a lot. So the price point for this, I think not on sale without any kind of a coupon. I think this is like $140 for this bottle, whereas the Florin Bass bottle was $77. If you look and you want to compare the ingredients, it really all depends. Price point, great product. Price point, great product. I'm looking for a higher concentrate of the CBD more so than the lower. So to me, this one makes a lot more sense for what I'm looking for from my skin. So this continues to be a favorite. Jay was using the Maku in a different way and I'll insert his little video clip where he talks about his thoughts on using this oil. I, um, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about this product you're holding in your hands. Now this is the Maku Full Spectrum Hemp Oil. CBD oil, 5,000 milligrams. Then 5,000 milligrams is pretty, uh, a huge potency. And you've been, that bottle has lasted us, what, about four months, oh, maybe at five least. months? I, yeah, four to five months. Four to five months now, and you've been using it more than me. Yeah, I use it when I play golf. A lot of times, my just when I walk the golf course, I get sore, 
and I'm not supposed to be taking any ibuprofen or Advil or anything like that. So by taking this, it's really helped my soreness. It's just been really good for me. I haven't feel any pain. Uh, I just feel comfortable. I don't feel like I've, uh, takes away all that soreness when I play golf. So would you recommend it for anyone that's active in sports? I think I would. Uh, I think it's a lot better than taking ibuprofen or Advil or Aleve, any of those products. Uh, it does have a little taste to it, so if you're not comfortable with the taste, uh, but there are other products out there that have less taste, but this has got a little hemp oil taste to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, it's it, to me it's really helped a lot and it just takes away a lot of the aches and pains that I get from golf. So you've been after me to buy another bottle because I think you are just about at the very end of that. Uh, yeah, you can see just a yeah, little. Just and it's, a little I don't bit. even think I can get that out of the bottle. Just take a, just a very, probably right up to about there, maybe just a little. Okay. How much I take? Yeah. So awesome. it works for me. He's like, I said, Jay, would you like to do a little video review on the Maku? He said, Sure. But he's been using it. He's been using it for a pain, whereas I've just been using it as a skincare item. So I think I think it's going to be up to what you really want to use it for. I am getting ready to pack up. I'm going to be going up on a... Well, actually, we have a couple of trips coming up. So I have a convention coming up, and then next year I have a big European trip coming up. So I'm, like, trying to really think about what you know how to pack better and all that stuff so I ordered this this is a little like a hard case now I have a power pack power pack really comes in handy especially when you're traveling so I can plug in my phone I can plug in a laptop and I can juice up those with this power pack and then I also have the adapter here where I can plug it in so I like I was like thinking, you know, I I kept this in a little bag. I, I didn't really have any place to store this that made sense. So I saw this and I said, I'm going to give it a try. I thought it would perhaps be perfect for my needs. I wanted something I can put my power pack in, the cord in, a couple of other little accessories here and have it small enough so that it can fit into my carry-on or fit into my, my briefcase if I was going to work and I could grab it and know what it is. You know, I mean, like so often you grab things and you don't know what's in it. You know, you got a bag here, a bag there, you this or that. This I know has my power pack. So if I'm listening to an audio book or podcast on the plane and my cell phone gets low, this I know where it is. I can grab it perfect to recharge on the run. And then at the end of the day, whatever power pack you use, you just plug it in and you recharge the whole thing. This this is pretty quickly. I can recharge this in about an hour completely. So it really works really great. And I love the fact that this little case can have everything I need in it. So I love it. So that was something I bought off of Amazon. I thought it was really great. And I brought my jade roller out here. I have a rose quartz roller, a jade roller. These This continues to be a favorite of mine. Almost every product I use I try to put on with Jade Roller. Sometimes I use the Gin Amber Dolphin and I'm applying it that way. I just really like it a lot. And I am using my Trophy Skin. This is the Rejuvelite MD. This is that red light therapy. I find this to be so super, super relaxing. So I, you know, I do this. I, I put the light on, I put all my makeup off, and I'm just, I'm just vegging. Half the time I'm listening to an audio book and I'm just, I'm just vegging. I'm just treating myself to some really nice skincare. So I think that's about it. I wanted to share a couple of those items with you. Now I think this is gonna be super long again, but Hopefully I can edit out a bunch of it. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.